good morning. So it is Carla Nicole. And yes, I'm a little early, but this is not this is not um, the live with Carla Nicole show. This is just this is just something on my heart and mind. Um, you know, I have a spiritual practice every morning that I do, and um, I just really want to talk about something that I think we need to think about. You know, I guarantee you, and I don't do many guarantees, but I guarantee you, this is beautiful Sunday, by the way, so this is a good day to talk about this. I guarantee you, if I asked some, if I asked anybody, we'll just say a hundred people, if I asked a hundred people right now, if they forgive, if they're a forgiving person, and um, I tell you what, out of that 100 people, I guarantee you probably 99 people would say, oh, absolutely, I forgive all the time. Yes, I'm, I'm a forgiving person. And, um, and then they may sit in that thought for just about, I would give it about a good, I don't know, maybe 10 seconds or maybe 20 seconds. And then they'll say something like, but let me tell you, if you mess with my mama or you mess with my babies, or you cheat with my man, or, and we, and we bust out all these different scenarios as to, uh, I'm forgiving, but, you know, there are scenarios that I can go left to center. My, my actual level of forgiveness will be challenged. And so, you know, I think it's important because, you know, if anybody has been following me, they know that I have been doing, I had actually done a whole series called the Forgiveness Series. And I put the hashtag in the title. You can go and, and review the hashtag series when you're ever so willing or ever so moved to do that. But I wanted to talk about this today because, you know, I have a lot of friends, man. They're going through it. They're going through challenges. They're going through pain, hurt, sadness, they lost their, they lost somebody they truly love, um, all kinds of stuff, man, and, and it's like, okay, if I asked you right now, are you a forgiving person, everybody, I guarantee you, like I said, and I don't make many guarantees, I guarantee you 99% or 99 out of that 100 people will claim to be very forgiving, oh yes, I'm, I'm very forgiving, I'm a forgiving person, and are very confident in their forgiveness. But so help me, let a few hours pass and somebody hurts their baby, somebody hurts their husband, somebody, you know, murders a parent or something. And all of that confidence in the forgiveness is no longer because now the anger supersedes the forgiving heart right because what you don't mess with my babies you don't mess with my husband um you know we just don't know what life is going to throw at us we don't and we really don't ever think about and think about this i want y'all to i'm challenging y'all i want you to really think about this when we think about something happening to us we think about it in the phase of someone else doing something negative to us or negative to someone we love. We never think about us doing something negative to them, right? So we never think, well, I would never, I would never cheat on my husband or I would never harm somebody else indirectly. I would never talk about someone behind their back. I would never this, I would never that. It's like, okay. Are you sure? Because in our image, in our mind of when we think about forgiveness, we think about someone hurting someone we love or someone hurting our, our comfort of what we have in our life. So we're like, well, I'm comfortable in my life. I'm comfortable with what I have. Okay, but it can be shattered in a blink of an eye. It can be challenged in a blink of an eye. It can change in a blink of an eye. What is is your forgiveness then are you still confident that you're forgiving are you because see it's easy like I said it's easy to say I'm a forgiving person that's very easy to say 
And I'm telling you without a shadow of a doubt, everyone, if I ask them, are you a, are you a forgiving person would tell me, absolutely, I am so forgiving. And let me put, put you up on game with something. I'm giving this message to everyone to hear, but this is also for myself. Okay? Understand that. Because yesterday when I woke up, I was very forgiving. But I happened to come across, last night, happened to come across a very racist person. Racist. Not against me per se, but racist against my race. But here's the thing though. Am I supposed to say I'm only forgiving to people that I agree with? I don't know. Am I? Because that's the challenge. See, it's easy to say I'm a forgiving person, but challenge it in your mind, though. Because we can sit and be rooted in our, uh, in our assumption or in our perception that we won't ever have a challenge time in our life that we will, will be... Um, at the brink of, of, of uh, on the brink of unforgiving someone. And then we'll say, oh, well, that's different. Well, I, I mean, that's different. Well, somebody is racist against my people. Uh, that's different. Or somebody hurt my father. That's different. Well, oh, or, or someone cheated with my husband. That's different. Well, hold on a minute. Our level of forgiveness is not to say it's okay with their behavior or with their projection or with their attitude, or be in agreement with what they did to us. That's not what forgiveness is. That is not what it is. You gotta go to my, you gotta go to my forgiveness series, man, and really sit down and watch what I taught about forgiveness. But see, here's the thing, though. We often think that no one else will harm us, especially people we love. You know, I did, I also had created the Red Flag Program. For those of, of you that don't know, I created a program about domestic violence. And I wanted to um, inherently teach people the red flags of very violent relationships. See the flags before they happen. Learn about them. Learn about the red flags before you get involved with someone, okay? So just like, I want you to go down a, uh, just go down this path with me for just a second. Imagine you're in a relationship with someone and they start physically harming you, physically hurting you. That has to be the most, I don't know, the most unbearable thing that we truly have to deal with if we were ever in that circumstance. That is so sad. You know what I'm saying? And then it's a, a, a brutality on your soul and on your human rights for someone to put their hands on you that, you that claim to love you. And then you're in this position where you're like, well, damn, do I stay or do I go? Right? And I'm not talking about just women. I'm not talking about just men. I'm talking about young men, young women, teenagers. Look, it's all amongst us where a lot of people will find themselves in a circumstance where they're being physically harmed or being or being or having to deal with some type of violence on them. So I want you to think about something really, really, this is really important. There is, there comes a time and a point where you can say, yes, I am a forgiving person. But don't get it twisted. There's times where that that forgiving that forgiving space can be dreadfully challenged. And like I told people a long time ago, when you sit down and you look at someone that stood before a court where her son was brutally murdered by a man on a random. He was brutally murdered, right? And this was her only son. He was murdered by this man. And this mother stood before the court in the heartbeat of her grief and told the, the murderer, I forgive you. And I thought to myself, my God, 
There was a power in her words beyond what I can even speak to you right now. And a lot of people will sit in that in that thinking and say, oh, I'm not there yet. Or I couldn't do that. Then you're not at your best level of forgiveness. Including myself. So, how do we get there? Forgiveness is a practice, people. And forgiveness has to, you have to sit back and you have to look at what must I do to challenge my forgiveness in my own, in various different scenarios and then look at it from a different perspective. Because understand something, there's nothing more disheartening for me personally when somebody is a racist. I cannot stand it. It, it, it really sears my soul with every beat, with every heartbeat of my being it really sears my soul so and I don't care if you're racist against blacks or racist against whites or racist against Hispanic whatever your level of of hate or racism it is I it, it just sears my very soul and it just burns my soul to know it to no end but what I'm here to tell you is when you're sitting back and you're listening to someone that's racist or you're sitting back hearing people be brutal or angry or, or, or vicious towards someone because they're a different nationality than you, there's nothing more aggravating for me. But like I told you yesterday, my forgiveness was challenged because I had to come in contact with a racist person. And again, like I said, I, I'm not somebody that is uh, compassionate to someone that's very racist. So it challenged my forgiveness. Can I forgive someone that's racist? So I'm challenging you. Are you able to forgive something that you just have no understanding of? Because I have no understanding of it, period. I get it that you may feel that you're getting disempowered because someone else or some other race is making um, some type of pr progression, but that's, that's your own fault. That has nothing to do with somebody's other race. And, and let me tell you something someone's progression in this life understand has nothing to do with your progression in your life there's all there's plenty of room out here for everybody to grow on every level on in every race so that's irrelevant for you to have an attitude about somebody being black or white whatever the issue is so for like I said yesterday I was challenged and so I wanted to talk about forgiveness because you know, it comes to a it comes to a point in time where we have to be honest with ourselves. Like I said, this message isn't just for everybody, but for me as well. It's easy to wake up in the morning. Okay? Wake up in the morning. I will just use Trayvon Martin's mother, for example. She woke up in the morning or, or, or that morning when Trayvon was brutally murdered by George Zimmerman. She woke up in the morning confident that she was a very forgiving woman. And then you're telling me this woman, a mother, finds out her son is brutally murdered. And it's so, it's so crippling in your soul to have to face that. And then you have to sit back and be like, what am I supposed to do? I lost my son. I see, I see recently where she's, she's getting political and I think that's a beautiful thing. I think that's amazing. But can you imagine in the morning she was very confident of her forgiveness and how, how forgiving she is. And many people do, including myself. Oh, I'm very forgiving. And then in the next breath I'll say, but you mess with my children? <laughs> you mess with my father? You mess with my best friends? You mess with, you know, that same old, you know. So it's easy for me to say, oh yeah, I love, I, I'm very forgiving and all this. Yeah, but it can be challenged. So can you forgive or are you practicing it? Are you only seeing forgiveness from your perspective only? Are you ever challenging the fact that you could be the one doing something that hurts someone else? Do we ever look at it from that perspective? I don't know. I know I've challenged myself to try to look at it from that perspective, but it's hard to do. You know, because anytime we talk about we have a great relationship, we have a great parenting ex uh, 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 relationship with our kids, we have a great 
relationship with our elder parents and then we sit back and we look and we're like but you know if somebody harmed them I don't know what I'd do well you need to start thinking about that what would you do would you be able to forgive and if not how can you how can you challenge yourself to elevate and to and to express and and to come to a point where i need to extend myself i need to get into this get rooted in figuring out how to better my my version of forgiveness because i'm going to tell you what in this lifetime forgiveness is very challenging it's not easy I don't care how much you think you're good at it, how confident you are. Oh, no. Kadez, I know your story, Mommy. And so, hey, <laughs> I saw how you went through your own challenge. So that's what I'm saying. Like, are we able to learn forgiveness without saying, I can do it on the, I can forgive on the surface? We got to get in depth with this stuff, man. Forgiveness is not easy to do. It's hard. But it takes practice. We have to begin to start practicing forgiveness and challenging ourselves. Put yourself in someone else's shoes that hurt you. And then place yourself in that position and then ask yourself, would I be able to, first of all, forgive myself for making those choices or, or harming someone else? And then would I be able to challenge how do I elevate? How do I correct? How do I self-correct? Can I self-correct or not? So again, that's why I think it's important and vital that we truly sit back and we pay attention. That forgiveness is a practice. You have to do it every day. Whether or not you know or not that somebody you love or care about loves or cares about you, but makes a mistake or makes a misjudgment or misunderstands you or or comes up with a conclusion about you and they're wrong dead wrong could you forgive it I'm just asking so listen I, at 12 o'clock I'll be on live but I had to talk about this because this is Sunday and I know there's a lot of people hurting I know there's a lot of relationships being challenged I know there's parents out here frustrated with their kids and, and trying to figure out a way to you know to give grace to children that just aren't aren't I guess mindful of making better decisions and choices but we have to sit back and say hold on how can I fix this what do I need to do to improve how I how I forgive and ask yourself every day what I asked everybody are you a forgiving person ask yourself Really, truly ask yourself. And then when you say yes out of your mouth, because that's our immediate response, listen to your second thoughts. Well, on second thought, I would have an issue with forgiving this, or I would have an issue with forgiving that. And start challenging yourself and placing yourself in those scenarios. And then learn about forgiveness. Let me put it out, on, uh, out here real quick. Forgiveness is not permission for someone to harm you or hurt you. I'm going to say it again because I know a lot of people don't get this part. Forgiveness is not permission for someone to hurt or harm you. But what forgiveness gives you or gives the other person and yourself is you are able to detach from the error, from the misunderstanding, from the violation, from whatever it was, you're able to detach from it. Forgiveness is detaching and not allowing someone to harm you, but detaching from what happened. You cannot fix the past. I don't care what you do. There's absolutely no way you can, you can actually fix the past. You can't take words back. <laughs> you can't take actions back. You can't do none of that. So we have to sit back and think about, well, how do I, how do I do this? Hashtag forgiveness series and pay attention, watch, study, do the work. I'm going to do a mini series on this also about forgiveness, but I wanted to just tell you, I want you to, I want you guys on this beautiful Sunday morning 
to really challenge yourself and, and pay attention to what you say to yourself on second thought after you say you're a forgiving person. Put yourself and place yourself in that scenario. And then learn about how to elevate from your level of forgiveness. We can all say we're good at it. But are we? Share this video. Somebody needs to hear it. This is Carla Nicole. I'm signing off. See you at noon. Best kept. Have a good day.